Welcome back friends to another video tutorial of Anita Bio Concept and in my previous video as I had told that in my next video tutorial I will be explaining about the diagrammatic representation of the process of natural competence or transformation as in case of bacillus subtilis. So uh, let me remind you first of all what are the different competence proteins and what are their functions. Com E A, Com G, Com E C, Com F A, DNA enzyme. These are other proteins or enzymes. The DNA enzymes. Then after. single stranded binding protein then rec a protein plus other proteins so what is the function of com e and g these two competence proteins are responsible to bind the double stranded DNA molecule, double stranded DNA molecule to the receptor complex, to the receptor complex which is present on the bacterial surface, actually competent bacterial cell surface. Okay, com EC. And com F A. Com E C act as channel protein, channel protein through which the DNA is pulled inside the cytoplasm of bacterial cell, competent bacterial cell. And what com F A does? Com F A act as DNA. DNA translocase enzyme. DNA translocase enzyme. With the help of this enzyme, with the help of this competence protein, the DNA is <coughs> translocated by the help of this channel protein. Now, what DNA enzyme does? DNA enzyme degrade the single stranded DNA degrade the single stranded DNA of the incoming DNA, exogenous DNA and SSB provide stability to the that single stranded DNA which is left over now and along with REC A protein which further on helps in recombination along with other protein. So these are all the functions of different competence proteins. Now let's see the mechanism in case of bacillus subtilis. How this natural competence process takes place. Okay, so let's first of all draw the bacterial cell here. I hope this is visible to you. Suppose. Actually my diagram is very poor. So I am very sorry for that. Okay. And. This is the. Receptor. This is the receptor for DNA and translocation complex. This is the this is the receptor. This is the receptor 
for DNA and translocase complex. And where is the exogenous? Okay, I should rub it. And this is the bacterial chromosome. Because this will be the recipient. So A minus I have written here. This is bacterial chromosome. And here this is the this is the foreign DNA or exogenous DNA. Which is present in the extracellular environment. And this bacteria is competent. So here I will write competent cell. Competent bacterial cell. Okay. Now what happens here? First of all, the competent bacterium binds to DNA and transport it into the cell. This competent bacterium binds the exogenous DNA through the uh, receptor for DNA and then after actually I should write here, sorry, through the receptor and then after here it will be like this, elaborative diagram will be like this. I should rub it. So your more space is there. Okay. Now, look. This is, suppose, this I am drawing. The cell surface or wall and here these are the com g proteins here i write, i should write it com g proteins okay and Here, along with COM G, there is COM A. Okay, here there is COM E A. COM E A competence protein. And uh, actually, this is okay. This is the COM G and COM E A which function to bind the double stranded DNA molecule. So I should draw here double stranded DNA molecule comes and binds to the receptor complex here. Like this. Okay. Like this. I should write here this is the extracellular environment and here this is the intracellular environment okay and here here when it will encounter here again I'll draw the cytoplasmic membrane here like that this is semantic diagram This is the 
actually really soggy. This is the cytoplasmic membrane. Again, I'm telling my diagram is very, very poor. This is the bilipid layer. Let's complete it. Okay. Now, here you can see that DNA's enzyme act and the double stranded DNA becomes single stranded. As DNA's enzyme degrades, degrades it. Okay. Okay. So let's revise. First point is Com G and Com E A protein does binds the double stranded DNA. Okay, Com G and Com E C proteins with the help of Com G and Com E A protein, the double stranded DNA molecule get binds to the receptor complex, and these two competence proteins are helping in this. And then after Okay, so this is the point number one. Through, it, through the receptor complex, through the receptor complex, the COM G and COM EA protein is being responsible to bind this double standard DNA molecule, which is present in the extracellular environment. And then after, what happens? Then after, DNA's enzyme does act on this double stranded DNA molecule and make it single stranded and here after degradation these short fragments of nucleotide fragments of nucleotides get scattered away okay so this is the point number two now what happens in third stage? Here I should draw now. These are the, this is the COM FA protein. What is the function of COM FA protein? COM FA protein does act as translocase. I have told earlier, translocase. Okay, and here here this is the com e c proteins here this is the com e c proteins. What is the function of com e c protein? I have just told the function of com e c protein is to act as channel proteins okay which is being responsible to pull up this single stranded dna this you can see this is the single stranded dna okay now so this is the point number 3 then after here the in the single stranded dna the SSB protein or single stranded binding protein does bind and make it stabilized along with REC A protein. So, single stranded binding protein and REC A protein along with other proteins, this is stabilizes the single stranded DNA and then after REC A plus other proteins thus helps in the recombination process okay so let's revise once again here 
this double stranded dna exactly this double stranded dna does binds to the competent cell surface of back competent cell surface of bacteria or competent bacterial cell surface with the help of com g and com ea protein then after the dna enzyme degrades the single strand of dna and after that with the help of com ec channel protein this single stranded dna is pulled inside the cytoplasm by the help of com fa protein which is responsible to translocate this dna molecule and after that this single stranded dna molecule is getting a stability or it is stabilized with the help of single stranded binding protein along with rec a and after that rec a protein plus other proteins does helps in the recombination process so uh, here not this space is not there so this portion i will draw here okay what happens after this mechanism or this step let's draw once again here bacterial cell here i am drawing here i am drawing suppose this is the bacterial chromosome so when the when this single stranded dna is getting recombined with the chromosomal dna of ba competent bacterial cell then suppose here this is the this is the here single stranded dna single strand dna gets recombined so here a minus was there a negative and here this was a positive single strand of this a positive exogenous dna a positive so here we can see very clearly that this is the formation of heteroduplex heteroduplex okay so it so this is the actually and now this is the here this dna single stranded dna which was replaced by this dna single stranded dna of exogenous dna and this dna of chromosome of the competent bacterial cell is getting replaced so here it is a negative okay so now here we can see okay so uh, is this clear to you okay now the single strand of this donor dna is integrated donor dna is integrated into the chromosome of the recipient cell and a heteroduplex is being formed here so this is all about the competence mechanism or transformation mechanism once again i am revising it sabse pehle kya hota hai sabse pehle एक कॉम्पिटेंट बैक्टीरियल सेल होता है जो जिसके पास ये एबिलिटी होता है कि वो बाहर के किसी डीएनए को नेचुरली अपने अंदर ले सके सो हियर दिस कॉम्पिटेंट बैक्टीरियल सेल इज हियर एंड दिस इज द एक्सोजीनस डीएनए नाउ दिस डबल स्टैंडर्ड एक्सोजीनस डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल गेट्स बॉइंग टू द सेल सर्फेस ऑफ कॉम्पिटेंट बैक्टीरियल सेल विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिसेप्टर कॉम्प्लेक्स and after that dna enzyme will degrade it make it single stranded and the fragmentation of nickel threads will be there and after that with the help of com ec channel protein by the help of translocase protein or com fa this single stranded dna molecule will be pulled inside the cytoplasm of this competent bacterial cell and after that single stranded dna binding protein will stabilize it and following the recombination mechanism by the help of rec a protein along with other proteins and after that the single strand of single strand of this bacterial chromosome will be replaced when the single strand single stranded dna of the donor dna will bind or will integrated with the chromosomal dna and formation of heteroduplex will be 
there. So this is all about the mechanism of natural competence or transformation. With this, thank you all and please like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel. Thank you.